For setup and customization, we'll press the setup key and we'll use the trackpad and the arrow select to go into these various sections. For administration, you would need the password. You need to get that from Sonosite. The name is administrator, but you'll need to get that from Sonosite and it tells you exactly how to contact them. Annotations. We talked about the different libraries, A, B, and C, for each preset. So here, I can choose my Nerve preset, hit select, and I could add text here. Type in text. And I would add that to the library. It will show up at the very bottom. Here's my added text, and I can move it up or down in the order and I could also delete that. And I could choose that for A, B, C and if you recall there was A, B, and C for the different libraries along the bottom and there was nothing for C. Here we could make our own library from the beginning. Here it shows what do you want to do when you unfreeze the image. You can clear all text, keep it on screen or keep the text that's only at the home position. We can also import from another machine if we have our own library set up or export these and take them to another machine. If I want to reset the defaults, I click reset. When I'm done with this, I can go there. Audio and battery I can change it so each time I hit a key, it clicks. Beep alert when I saved images, you heard that. Sleep delay, how many minutes when the battery is on. And then if there's power, how, how long do you want that to tell you want that to go off? A and B key and foot switch, this is here for A and B. If you want to set it up to print, you can click this or show or hide mode data, end exam. The mode data was that color scale up there. Reset the gain settings to the default to go back to the original print, turn on Sun OMBE or do nothing. Right now it's set to go to a printer. B key, again, same thing. You can choose what to go to when you hit the B key. And if you have a foot switch, which I really don't see them sell anymore, uh, you can do the same. And when you hit the foot switch, what do you want the machine to do? Here's your, where you would set up any thing for tissue Doppler in your cardiac calculations. Again, not something terribly in depth. Connectivity. This is where you would set up your printers, your DICOM, and your network information. For the DICOM setup, you'll click here, and this is where you would enter your DICOM information. You go down to config, and this will allow you to set up the different locations for DICOM. Now, this is beyond the training here because all of this information would be very specific to your location. If you have an IT professional, this is the only person who can give you that information. And one thing of note is if you have problems connecting with DICOM. There's not much anyone can do over the phone. Your IT professional would need to do it. And one of the most common problems we have in situations for people to call in is that there's a firewall or their AE title is typed in incorrectly. You can't use the same AE title if you bought a second machine. If you plug that AE title into this machine, it will not work. So make sure that all of this is exactly as sent by your radiology professional. If your radiologist has sent you something specific, and here's page two. We want to go back, go to page one of two, then we'll click done, go back to the previous screen, click done again, and I'll have to hit setup, date and time, select, that's fairly straightforward, display information. This says what do you want to display up top here when you're doing the scanning, what kind of patient information, what kind of mode data, etc. IMT for intermedia thickness calculations, which ones do you want? Network status, if you are connected to a network, this is where it will show your status. OB calculations, this is where you select the different calculation packages for OB. Any custom measurements, you'd select here. Presets. Now this is pretty much all the customization on presets you can do as far as your Doppler scale, how the duplex Doppler shows up, live trace, thermal indices, 
Uh, the save key, what do you want it to save? The image in the calculations, just the image on the screen. Dynamic range, as this is the standard preset for the nerve because I'm in the nerve right now. I can set the dynamic range that I want it to set up. The units, color scheme, how it's going to work, and then auto save the patient form on, saves the, auto, the patient information to the images in the archive. System information in case you have any service issues or you want an update or increase the light or add a probe for another license or something of that sort. This is the information you would give and you would, here's the license and, that you would enter in. USB devices, if you have any USB devices connected, you'll click here and it will show you what you want and you can export from there. So we'll click done. Next we'll move on to the image review, reports and exporting images.